Gentlemen, welcome back to the grind. Let's fire up another game, see what we can do. Malite. Much better, now I can think. Okay, playing the standard opening here, London. No trickery, nothing fancy. So eager. <laughs> oh no. Hide the bishop. <laughs> Opponent coming in with a very aggressive play. I'm not gonna lie. G5, F4. Haven't seen this one yet. I can go for something like e4, uh, h5 check, and then he loses his castling rights. I'm almost willing to... I don't want to do this. I almost want to let him have this pawn. My only problem is I just can't capture it back very easily. Hmm. And I really want to get my queen out to h5 here. Hmm. Do I want to go e4? I don't know. Hmm. Maybe I just give up a pawn or something. Is it worth it? I don't know. I've never seen someone play so aggressively. Hmm. I don't really, really want to block in. Hmm. How can we do this in a sane manner? I want him to lose castling rights. That would be the ultimate goal here. Let's think e3 or e4. I mean, this does create an even trade. If he pushes f3, I just take with the queen. I think this is okay. Some of you are probably going to be like, well, you're probably thinking way too hard about this. Uh, and you're right, but I've just never seen someone play so aggressively. So that's the reason. Yeah, I don't know. I just want to exploit this somehow. So, which pawn do I want to take? Hmm. Couple options here. I mean, I can just give up. Suppose I could just give up. Hmm. Maybe F4 is the play here. I know this might look a little bit weird, but I want him to take the pawn so I can get my bishop back out and then protect D4 with the bishop. That's my plan. I need to like always keep in mind that my b2 is going to be really weak and uh, I still need to castle as well. I maybe could have pushed c4 there instead. Um, that could have been one idea, but I don't want to get punished by um, early attacks on this dark square diagonal against the king here. He does have a5 check. I'll probably block with c3 if he ends up doing that. I don't think it's going to be so good to block with the knight because then he just captures the pawn and attacks the knight. And then it's going to be a little bit of a awkward setup.
Maybe my bishop out onto a decent square. Oh, uh, let me think. Which one would I rather take? This one or that one? I think if he gets his pawn onto d4, it's going to be good for me because he stacked his pawns at that point. So... I also do have just like a nice check here. And I don't think he can actually block that, can he? Won't, won't he be forced? To go to c7? Hmm. Yeah, and if he moves, I have check here. Oh, yes, check that way. Okay, so his knight is pinned. That's really good for me, I feel. Hmm. Maybe I just start trading off. Oh, this seems too good. Maybe I should have captured this way, but I don't know. With his stacked pawns here, it seems like it's going to be pretty easy. He does have check and takes. Uh, I probably should have considered that. Maybe I should have just taken the knight. Mm. Uh, no, I always have knight c3. If he goes queen a5. He takes. I'm just going to go for it, you know. Hmm. Let's see, if he goes a5, I have this nice fork here. I'm pretty sure I'm just winning a rook here because his rook is trapped. And then I have the fork. He could go for a5 check. Uh, will be slightly difficult for me because I only have really one real defender. No, uh, but even that should be okay. Hmm. Oh, okay. Nice move by him there. <clears throat> Maybe I could pin... No, I can't take here. Maybe I could pin his knight. I mean, I'd, maybe it's fine to just trade off my queen here at this point. I think if there's anything more menacing I could do. Oh, I do have just plain check here. I feel like that's... Hmm. Do I want to get this risky though? And I could win a knight, potentially a rook. Let's go for it.
either has to block with his queen or yeah so this is pretty good I'm honestly okay with the trade. His position is just so bad. I feel like it's just going to be easy to punish. And I have a free pawn. And I'm not really too worried about threats here. At this point, his knight is more or less pinned. Uh, I just want to get castled already. I've been putting that off for a while, so. He could push c5, force my bishop back. Hmm. Let's think. Do I go for the castle here? You have a check. I don't know if it's any good though. I almost kind of hope that he goes for b2, <laughs> truth be told. <laughs> I'll just trade the knights off here. He'll hope he goes for that. Hmm. Yeah, fair move there. I'll just attack his rook and maintain defense on b2. Could attack his other rook, but it's just so easy for him to get out of that. Now I'll just attack the rook, still protect b2.
I'll just go attack. If he goes something like e4 with the rook, uh, I'd be tempted to just trade off at this point. It's defended. I need I need to keep this square in mind. He probably could take the knight, then we trade off, and he takes the bishop. That's like one idea. It's e5 seems like it's a valuable square for the knight. Hmm. Maybe I should have just attacked his rook, though. I don't know. He wants to go for the trade skis. Hmm. I don't really want to, if I'm being honest. But maybe it's fine at this point. Hmm. I just want the bishop, that's the only thing. Seems like the board's kind of open, so I want to keep the bishop more or less. Thoughts? I think I'd rather try to trade the knight off and keep the bishop. Hmm. Maybe I should have just brought the rook out there and just went for the trade that way. That probably could have worked. I think that would have been better, actually. Hmm. So my knight's not really going to have a great square after I move. I'm just going to go with that original idea. Probably have to fall back to d2 or something. I need to like pressure these two pawns as well. Yeah, I saw that coming. Hmm, can't really go there anymore. Yeah, d2 is probably the only idea here. If he pushes e3, I'll just take with the pawn at this point.
I think he has to push c5 to c4 here. Yeah, I'm just looking for that one juicy fork <laughs> that I can pick up somewhere. If he pushes, I'll take with the pawn. No big deal. Knight a4. Maybe we could start trading off on b4. I saw that one coming. Hmm, we could protect. Boom. Boom, boom. No, I think that's going to lose a knight. Yeah, putting the bishop here on h2 probably wasn't the play. Mm, this should be okay. If he wants to push again, I'll be winning. Or I'll be discovering a check here. I always need to remember this pawn. Kind of tempted just to push uh, b4, just to stop thinking about b2. Yeah, bishop's just in a really bad spot. Hmm. I could hit him with the check with the rook here. I think I'll just do that and then I can have the option of, of at least creating a pass pawn here. So I'm expecting him to push 
Click C3 next. Let's see here. Hmm. Maybe I just connect. Connect the rooks or something. That could be an idea. I believe I can win a bishop this way. <clears throat> I think it might just be playing mate on b6. Because he's cut off here, and he's cut off here. Well, no, I think he'd still be able to escape back onto c4, but I think I can still win this bishop. I don't know if that was the move for him. Maybe I don't win the bishop anymore, but... He's forced to go back to uh, c6, right? Oh, no, I guess he could always push that way as well. Yeah. Hmm. My knight's in a little bit of heat. I believe this move is just forced. I don't know, maybe we trade off or something? We could trade off. <clears throat> I don't really want to, though. That's the thing. I'm attack his rook next. I attack the rook. Okay, so it goes for the pawn. I need to remember that my king like doesn't have an escape right now, so if he gets a rook on my back rank, there's the potential to lose. I think he still has to protect. Let's see. F5. Yeah, I need to start thinking about getting the bishop out of here so my king can breathe. Yep. Okay. I don't want to lose this pawn. I don't want to get attacked this way.
Mm. I'll attack his dark square bishop. Hmm. I did just get a free pawn, but it's going to come at a cost. Yeah. I didn't even realize that was a fork. That's cool. <laughs> I think we kind of have to go for this, right? Yeah, it just seems too good. I'm just going to push him up the board. Uh, I want to get this pawn here. Could like go for the traits, but I don't know. Three pawns seems too good. And we have a sort of a nasty fork next. On uh, F6 here. Let me see if there's something else I can do. Well, I need to salvage the... See, I do have a check this way as well. I wonder if that's better or worse. No, he just takes the knight that way. I guess it's just time to give up the knight. It's fine. Oh, uh, no. Even that's safe. Oh, uh, right. I forgot. And now I still have an attack here. Hmm. Do I give up? I think we just go for check, right? Either just take the rook, but then we're could be a bit even. Maybe I just fall back and look for check up here or something. This knight's not defended. Or this knight, excuse me. This uh, rook. Hmm.
These are... This rook is defended. Hmm, do I fall back, maybe? I always fall back this way too. I'm gonna try that. I kind of like that move. Uh, D1, maybe, but I can always just block in with G4. just mate. I think this is just mate. Bishop d6. Let's think about it. So these are all taken. He's blocked here. If I go d6, so these are all taken. I think d6 is just mate. Guess not. Oh, I think he has to block in, right? Yeah, he has to block in with the rook. And then the rook gets pinned. And then uh, rook b8 should just be mate. Right. That's not mate yet. Ooh. Oh, here. Ooh, ouch. Oh, okay. Well, these two pieces are pinned, so I believe we just go here. Nice. Nice. That was a good one. That was a good one. Fun little series of uh, checks there at the end. That was pretty fun. So let's see, 74%, 7 is called 73. 73 accuracy versus uh, 62. Three great moves, that's cool. 1150 versus 600, cool, cool. Yeah, GG, Dr. Albanen. I shake my hand at you. <laughs> well played. This, the, his whole game kind of fell apart when he started pushing the pawns. Um, I think there was a lot of things that I missed throughout the game that I probably could have abused more, uh, but I just wasn't seeing it. I don't know. This queen check was very satisfying. This evades check from the queen. It was just nice that he couldn't block in with anything here, so that was kind of satisfying. Yeah, big debate here between sort of which pawn to take first. Queen f7 is a great way to win material using a fork. Ah, so I could have won a knight. Ah, so I missed that. Ah, a bit of a blunder here. Whoops. And then he'd be forced to move his rook. <clears throat> and then wins a pawn. Okay, cool. Yeah, I miscalculated that part a little bit. Gotcha. Oh, that seems a lot worse for me. <laughs> hmm, that's just me, though. I guess I would have just traded pieces off here, huh? Since I was already up a piece. Sure. Okay, so a little bit of a blunder there. So we potentially could have been up a piece, but we're only up a pawn here. Not the worst thing, I guess. Uh, just block in this way. I didn't quite understand rook h4. It seemed like the rook was just very inactive on this square. Ooh, this was so bad, huh? This this move choice loses a knight. 
How though? Ah. I see. Right, because if he takes... Well, here's how I saw it playing out of my head. I figured we would have just been here. Yeah. Okay, so some miscalculations here, yeah. Okay, yeah, I definitely screwed up this move. Um... So I had a defender on e5. But that defender was under attack. But I was thinking I was just going to be up a rook if he took. But yeah, that was a miscalculation. So yeah, I, I should have just slid this, uh, this bishop back somewhere. I'm regretting putting it back on h2. I wish I would have put it something on like d2 instead. Um, it was very inactive here on h2 for long part of the game. Uh, fortunately, he missed. So. Hmm. Why d4? Doesn't he just win a pawn this way? I think c6. I don't know. That didn't seem like the way to go, but. This was a nice find. This is kind of the beginning of the end for him, I feel. Uh, until I made some mistakes. Yeah, I didn't quite know what to do with the rook here. Oh, I had a, a, a check. Uh, that should have been super obvious. I just wanted to keep these pieces connected and not lose this rook. But yeah, so where does he go? His king is forced to where? Oh, bishop d2. Oh, interesting. Oh. Oh, right. So all his uh, squares were blocked off with the king here, so he had to basically sack a bishop. Interesting. And then king c3, so we, we would have had to... Oh. Can't he just take a pawn here? And then what, e3? I see, I see. Gotcha. I don't know how I missed d1. I was so fixated on just keeping these rooks connected that I kind of failed to uh, notice that. That he had no escape. Except to block in with the bishop. Okay, cool. That's a nice little find there. Honestly, rook b7 was just getting the rook somewhere. Ah, the knight was defending here, so I should have moved over. Ah, and then staggered the rooks. I see. Oh, and then there was just maiden one. Oh, no way. Oh. No way. Maiden won there the whole time. No way. Good to know. Maiden won. Yeah, I didn't see that. Didn't see that. Should have, though. I figured if I went back, he was just going to go back, right? Or would he not do that? And then king d8. Rook a7. King e7. Wait, what? Why does it say it's the best move and then... Oh, sure, just a stagger. Okay. Then what did he do? Oh, so he kind of has to delay his death here. And then rook g8. h1, maybe? Right. Okay. And rook g1. Oh, interesting. So I kind of have to... Uh, he basically is going to lose here no matter what. So e3. Okay, but then there's... Ah, okay. So there was clearly sort of a lot of chances 
for an earlier mate here. But I just failed to recognize those. Ah, right. What was I thinking? <laughs> Why would I not go that way? That also would have been mate in one. Man, lots of missed uh, mate in ones here. Hmm. Yeah, I definitely overcomplicated it at the end there. Gotcha. Yeah, I think the lesson in this game is just don't be so aggressive with your kingside pawns. <laughs> Honestly, that's kind of where his game fell apart. Um, and then there wasn't... I don't know. It, it didn't seem like he had too many chances to get back minus this one blunder. He could have won the bishop. That would have been his one sort of saving grace. But yeah, here I was just trying to get uh, a rook sort of on a more active square. Maybe putting it on something like d1 or e1 would have been better even. So let's see what would happen if we would just add a defender to e1. Yeah, it's still not great here, but it's not as bad still. Hmm. And he can't really take the bishop. Yeah, okay. Cool. Well, fun game, Dr. Albanen. I give you the virtual handshake and uh, GG and see you guys in the next game.